Here for Blood is directed by Daniel Turris and is currently streaming on Screambox. <laughs> also, this has D. Snyder in it, though. At least the voice of him, though. When you hear the voice, dude, if you know D. Snyder, dude, it's pretty easy to figure out who it is, though. But, yeah, it's actually a pretty funny role, to be honest with you, though. So, yeah, check that out, though. Anyhow, though, this one's about a dude named Tom who's an indie wrestler. So, indie wrestlers, at least in this his world, doesn't get paid shit, dude, or at least barely gets paid shit, right? Anyhow, though, he has a really cute girlfriend who's currently in school, and she asks him to cover her babysitting duties so she can study for an important test. He does unreluctantly, and he does it for this, it's for this little girl that she's been babysitting for a while. In the house, of course, it's a really nice house, but of course, it's in the middle of nowhere. So upon, arri upon arrival, things are pretty easy and chill. The girl's cool, doing her thing, playing video games and whatnot, you know, and he's doing his thing, gets pizza, they're chilling, all is good, right? But of course, later in the evening, things get a little interesting once these masked men arrive They want to kidnap the girl. Now, Tom has got to protect this girl from these goons, where some of them kind of look like the wrestler Sting. I don't know if you guys know who Sting is, but anyways, though, he's got to use all the moves he's learned from wrestling to protect this young girl into the night. Yeah, I like this one. I mean, a very self-aware movie that has plenty, plenty of blood. There's some pretty bloody parts for sure. I mean, cheesy fun. Some decent fight scenes, some really good fight scenes, actually. I wish there was a little more wrestling puns, you know, since the main dude is a wrestler. But there's some pretty fun lines in this one, though, for sure. And there's a few throwbacks uh, to some classic horror movies. I'm sure some of you will notice. Dude, this actually, this actually even has a pretty cool soundtrack, too, though. I mean, some hard rock and metal blasting throughout the fight sequences. Always fun in my book. I'm going to use that little wrestling lingo in this one. So to me, I feel the bad guys felt like jobbers waiting to get beat down. <laughs> you can tell they had fun making this movie, though, man. I'm telling you right now. I mean, I bet the behind the scenes stuff, dude, must have been pretty fucking crazy. You know, actually, I'll be honest with you. Back to the death scenes real quick. I'm not doing it. I'm not giving it justice, though. I mean, let's be real. The shit gets pretty nasty, dude, and borderline ridiculous how bloody it gets and just crazy overkill stuff, dude. And I mean... And I'm sure that's what they were going for, which is all pretty actually awesome, though. And uh, also, the characters are actually pretty good, dude. Especially a few of the bad guys. I'll just say that one of these baddies or jobbers, <laughs> he's not as badass as he thought he was. And actually, honestly, his little thing's almost a slight plot, plot on its own, dude. But very funny, dude. Good action. Great kills. Crazy-ass kills, dude. Very straightforward story, dude. Buff dudes kicking ass is always fun to watch, man. I say check it out for sure. Just shut your brain off and enjoy it for what it is. And the same vein is like, I'd say kind of like an Army of Darkness, you know, with a cheesy 80s vibe type thing. Anyhow, though, now my recommendation is a movie called Devil's Candy. Talk about a movie with a badass soundtrack, man. A struggling painter possessed by dark forces after he and his young family move into their dream home in rural Texas and his creepy haunted house tale. Yeah, dude. This one, dude, gets pretty dark at times, though, man. But got the music that lays over it, dude, and the violence and the nastiness, dude. It's a hidden gem, in my opinion. And didn't get the love that it deserves, so I hope you guys help give it some love. And guess what, dude? What makes it a little extra nasty? It's free on YouTube for your viewing pleasure. So now you really got no excuse. Go out and watch that nastiness, dude. I'm telling you, it's free. You can't beat that. Free. That's the best price in the world, right? <laughs> Anyhow, though, that's all for today. Stay nasty, my friends, and I will see you at the next one. Shay Nasty out. I'll see you soon. Like and like subscribe. And subscribe.